Oh, I still feel shitty yet. Oh, fucking damn it. Mm. I'm fighting it, though I really am. That's what it looks like out there. I don't know if I should uh, cancel college prep and just go once I feel better. Because I hate to do it when I have eye discharge problems too. You know what I mean? I'm really thirsty. So I'm going to get dressed now. And uh, go to the bathroom and get my coffee inside me. So yeah. Wedding in there. <sighs> yeah, um, I told Dad I need two hundred dollars, and I'm like thinking, why not give me five hundred? That'll last a while because if I play the cards right, if my Pell Grant was three hundred and twenty-seven bucks last time, it could be that this time too, maybe. So, I could ask them that. And, um, at school, too. Um, so, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm not gonna use my credit card ever again unless there's an emergency. Like, if this tripod breaks. Or, like, if I'm really, really craving... For sushi, like, really, 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 really bad, like, back in May, I will take out money for that. God, it's so fucking hot in here. <sighs> Jeez. So, and I think $500 will last me a, w a long way because um, if I do that thing monthly... You know, and not, you know, use it for, um, my, my, uh, my streaming stuff monthly, you know, like Netflix. Not Netflix, he's paying for it, but you know what I mean. And stuff like that, it would go a long way. So, I want him to put, like, another 500 in there, and I'm not gonna use it for gas station, the cafe, quick trip... So I'm going to call him now and tell him about that. Another five. And, yeah. Because, yeah, I, I would like to go there, too, to get money out for quarters and stuff. For, um, laundry. So. Unless I can, um, if I have money left over from my pay, I could... Go to the bank and get quarters that way. You know? Like, I could have another $20 in quarters. If I don't use this other 20 You know? That's just a thought. How much of it do I need? Because I do need to do laundry here. Oh, yeah. There's plenty. God, am I hot? <sighs> All right. Oh, I forgot to put my hand sanitizer in the living room. So I'm gonna call Dad. I'm gonna talk to him about this. Um, and I'm gonna tell Lindsay too. Just wait until after the holidays, and I could get 
There, oh wait, I think it's online. College Prep Center. Yeah, I think it is on their website. So, I can read and everything. It's just, you know, I don't know if I'll be feeling freaking ass tired by 2.30 again, you know? Like I did, like, yesterday. God. But yes, I need to clean up in here. It's dark in here. I need to clean up in here. So, um... Look at that. So, okay. So I'm gonna tell Dad that plan. Another five, and, um... And that Pell Grant will add on, and I want my um, checking number ready. Bye for now. See you in a few seconds, I guess. Whew. Might want to use the card for a haircut, too. Oh man, did I fart? Oh man, do I need a haircut? Look at these bangs, you guys. Oh, and you know what else is a problem? This red thing? That's a freaking large zit. Like, holy shit. But yeah. I talked it over with my dad, and he's only going to give me like um, 200. And I'll ask the school how much my Pell Grant will be. Maybe I could meet again with Lindsay when I get there again. But I'll be wearing a mask when I go there on Thursday. Maybe Patty could help me, um, you know, like add it up or something or one of the other ladies. I don't know, yeah. I'm just freaking as hot and my throat is starting to hurt and I'm like, what the fuck? <sighs> oh yeah, and did I tell you he's only going to give me $200? Yeah, it'll add up with my um, Pell Grant. Sorry if I'm on repeat. I just uh, I can't remember what I say. But yeah. I looked on Facebook. And the cafe has a page. And they posted. What their soups. And I'm going to get one of each. So. And with my. Uh, visa now too. I want to finish reading all of this, all of that, all of that, and the books I did not read yet. All in here. The books I did not read yet. Okay. I read this one. This one was good. I have to read finishing this, read that, read some of these, read this series. Oh yeah, read these. Especially finish reading this, the ghost files. Where's the first one of this? I was reading one that called the Asylum, but now I can't find the freaking book. The heck? Oh, I definitely need these. Oh, here it is, right down here. <laughs> right down there. Okay. That's what I was looking for. But yeah. And if I really need to re 
read a book. Like there's a sequel to uh, um, to this book. I could check that out at the library. And they said if they don't have something that I want, I could go on their page and request it. Let me shut off this thing here. Let me move that book up there. And that lady now, what I was like telling you about, this is the name of her first book, Finding Me. Michelle Knight. It's, she's calling herself Lily now. And this is like her second one, Life After Darkness. And these are the other girls' books. Hope. Amanda Berry, Gina De Jesus. Hope. Whew. It smells like a library in here. <laughs> Check things out at the library instead of buying, 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 you know? Because what if that book is boring and I'm like, ugh, that's it, and it'd be a waste of my Amazon pay and my credit card, so I'm gonna just check things out of the library nowadays. If I really do like it, you know, I could get it on my phone on Kindle. Like, I would, like, read some first on my Kindle app. See if I like it. So far, I am enjoying this other book on my Kindle app. Let me show it to you really quick. I'm enjoying this one so far, Clear Lake. I can't pronounce the author's name. What else did I? This is uh, Meg Cabot's newest book. So I will check that out at the library. Um, I definitely want to read this one. This one looked good too. Cute but psycho. Beatrix Hollow. Paranormal Asylum Reverse Harem. <laughs> and about this book. It's like. <laughs> Ask me anything. He's my therapist. He's my soulmate and a very special killer. There's no, okay. But I will read um, Omance. It's intended for adults and I have sexual content and violence. So they put a warning label to it. See, I like kind of scary stuff because I've been reading R.L. Stein. See, I was staring at four dead bodies suspended upside down by meat hooks. See? But I will read stuff like this, and if it gets a little too boring, I will know right away if stuff is boring or not. Just by having this Kindle app and the Kindle app is like free on on um on Google Play. So you don't have to buy an Amazon Kindle like like how um it is with your smartphone. You can just get it like a extension on your phone like this. And boom, there you have it. And then 
Um, you can get it like for like $4.99 if you really like it or something like that. And that too, instead of like buying the paperback, I could like... Okay, and here's the sequel to the girl who talks to ashes. See? Girl who talks to ashes, the boy who lurks in the shadows. And I want to show you something else really quick here. With my Amazon, okay. Girl. Oh, I got to get this. Done some crazy things. So you just might think that there's not much that can take me by surprise. You'd be wrong. The world is full of stories, science, and things that amaze and confound me. Every single yeah, that day, was physical me. therapy. Um. I'm coming on the 27th at 1 p.m. And I called the cafe. They have my two soups that I like. And I'm going to have a sandwich with french fries. It's one of those mysteries. Alright, I'm going to put on my boots. So, okay. It is cold out there, guys. At the hands of a faith eater, or is there recovery? An this incredible is the demonstration of the power chicken of the mind. wing. Is it psychological? Well, of course it's psychological. An Ohio doctor claims to cure terminal diseases. Here's a different sauce. Is he really a miracle worker? Gilbert Ross okay. is the medical director of the American Council on Science and Health. Being a skeptic is part of his job. Merely because a patient. Mm. Uh, uh, undergoes a uh, miraculous recovery after seeing a faith healer. In no way means that the faith healer had any actual active role in the uh, in the improvement. Ross has a more rational explanation. He believes that the power right, of that. comes from the extraordinary power mm. of the human mind. The uh, mm, successful exactly. faith healing is entirely the result of the procedure. Right, so I see the chair, I see the table, the lamp, the, the fan. I, I can see everything, and I'm looking I'm looking for the light source. How can I see these things? It's pitch black, but it, you know, where's the light source? And there was no light source. It lasted about 60 seconds, and then the blackness came back. But for me, a beautiful sign, a beautiful sign of things to come, and it's my belief that it will come back when it most serves God. But how can someone perform these cures? Where does Dr. Nemo's healing power come from? He's not doing the healing. He takes no credit for it. God does it all. But he gets to be the spectator. He gets to watch it happen. He's the connector. So how does it work? But why, Dr. Nemo? Why is it that he has... That's what's inside the anyway. chicken meat and the stuff, what you put on in egg rolls. Dr. Nemo was put on. Breakfast better with Jones. Mmm. That's earth to help people. That I was going to show you before I got the telephone call. You see where it says paperback $12.99? And Kindle, it's $4.99. And I know it says Kindle Unlimited. But, um, I'll show you something. Where is my Google Kindle? Unlimited. Um, yeah, it's a free trial first and then eleven ninety nine per month after. And I don't want to do that. 
see I want to save my money so that's what I want to show you I think doing the $4.99 is the cheapest route and <clears throat> okay when smiles wait okay this is the book I'm reading now it's $19.25 on paperback Okay, nineteen twenty five on paperback and five ninety nine on Kindle. Okay. And Okay, let me see this. Twenty four dollars five ninety nine. I just would save a lot. You see what I mean? So That was my first book ever from her, My Final Breath. Oh my god, it was so good. So I love this author. Paige Darth, or Durth, whatever how you pronounce it. And these are her newest ones. <coughs> See, $5.99. All four. All right, so you can save a lot by going to the Kindle route. Again, you can get a Kindle app. Hmm, where's my Google Play? You can get Kindle. Like right, right there where it says open. Amazon and Kindle. Boom, right there. Okay. So, you don't have to buy those handheld candles. You can get it for free. That's all I wanted right to show now. you. And my chicken wing and everything else, like these two soups right here. My french fries in here. And my sandwich was all $29. He's got some very big hyalur lymph nodes. Uh, there's some other uh, See, material in his I'm going to eat my french fries and... Could be TB, and we're worried about TB yeah. from the lymph nodes. This is my is a dangerous infection of the respiratory tuna. Patty's favorite, Patty. Patty. lungs. Left untreated, tuberculosis bacteria will develop granulomas, which grow in the lungs oxygen rich. been feeling that kind of upset that kind of dysregulation and it's just been exacerbated by all of this extra change and then stick with my notes um when i first started dating sean i moved down to orange county so i lived in santa monica by myself uh when i was in graduate school and then when i graduated i moved down to be closer to sean that did not go well for me either um it was a really really tough transition i the people were very different from those in Los Angeles. I didn't, it did not connect with me. And I, we moved back, thank God, a year later. Um, but that was really hard. The case history <laughs> leads to suicide. But a visual examination is needed before Dr. G can finish her report. We're just documenting, uh, you know, making sure that it is what it seems. <laughs> Right away, it's clear why Maria needed the powerful medication. She's had back surgery. We could see the scar. She's had back surgery. Knees, uh, knee surgery. Possibly replace those scars are so big. Her body also shows signs of the valiant efforts made by the doctors who tried to save her only 24 hours earlier. And what, that you guy Nick told me, well, she died. I'm like, what? say what? Yeah, she had a heart, a uh, sudden heart attack. She died oh, earlier no. this year, and I did not know her last name, so I Googled it, like, the day after. I Googled her um, name and everything, uh, just Kim, obituary Kim, you know, and, and I found her name, Kim Boise or Boyce or whatever, and, and there she was, and I'm like, wow, she died in April, and she was only 51 years old. Oh, no. That's sad. Yeah.
private ceremony in Hawaii, Jeannie became an instant hit with a Phoenix upper crust. She seemed to fall right into it, as if though she'd had that money forever. She was welcomed and very, very well loved, extremely liked. I don't know of one, and I can honestly say this, I don't know one person that disliked Jeannie. She was just one of those very special people with very special qualities. She treated people like she wanted to be treated. I never saw any airs with Jean. They entertained a lot, very casual, entertaining, had friends in. They had... influencer. I will be a travel influencer. Nice sunset, huh? Anyway, I'm finding myself a little hungry. I was eating that last half of my sandwich, but I'm still hungry. So I'm going to find something to eat now. Maybe I'll have the soup from 
a cafe. Hi, baby girl. Mama Nora loves you, sweetie. Yes, I gotta do laundry. Look at that. Yeah, I decided just to have the soup from Quick Trip. Cheesy potato and ham soup. The biggest fecal ball was about the size of a football. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just feeling tired right now. I hate feeling tired like this. I'm going to find a job when I'm tired. Nothing could get through it except some liquid stool. Primary doctor. I don't know what the hell. It had to be a lot of pain. They find a lot of this unbelievable. Did he not have a sense of what was going on inside of his bowel? What is it that's causing him to live with this pain? I'm afraid to touch it. It was slipping all over the place. In my years as a medical examiner, I had never seen sisters had been murdered and he had killed one of the people that did the killing and knew who the other ones were where are you it doesn't matter where i am right now you just have to believe i had nothing to do with it if i don't kill myself i'm gonna find the guys who did it i know who they are and i'm gonna kill them in my opinion it was a ruse by mr smith to get support from Judas Smith's family members and make them believe that he was not involved in the killings. Joseph. And after that initial picture, everything in there, the rule was of my son. And I checked my negative and the man was on it. The only way I can explain that photograph is Samuel, because my daughter had told me about three weeks earlier that she felt that he had made this. And I didn't believe it. And I just saw the picture of him, and it was his way of telling us that he had, in fact, moved with us. It was the only explanation there was. The mysterious photograph became front page news in Fish Springs. Interestingly, nobody in town recognized the man. Yeah, I gotta put um, paper towels to my list. God, what the fuck, you guys? Yeah. 
I'm gonna go take a shower in a few minutes, guys. something in my eyes. When I submitted the worksheet, 123 point worksheet. Whew. Cleaning my um my uh, freezer.
One of those wounds actually goes through the iliac artery. That's a main artery in the pelvic region, but there's no blood associated with it. Mm -hmm. So he clearly okay. was already dead by the time he got back on shell one. Gently, she turns Keith on his side. <laughs> but I think... <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm gonna start to get ready for bed now, um, yeah mom, you know the rules, there's no noises out there except for my computer being on like that, and put out fires if you see any, before they, you know, get bad, and hug and kiss the kitty patty, your grandchild as a kitty. <laughs> I think that's the only um grandchild I'll give you for now on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know when I'll get married or uh or if my future husband will have a ooh, will have a son or daughter or something. I could be a good stepmother to them, not an evil stepmom. <laughs> you hear about but yeah um I won't be evil to anybody unless they want me to I'm just kidding but yeah <laughs> um so looks like the snow has a little melted a little bit that's all we have now <laughs> but yeah hug and kiss that cat for me um I don't want a husband who is abusive, toxic, or controlling either. <clears throat> so I bet mom will keep an eye out for a guy who is pretty nice. Laid back like Eeyore is, not too depressed or anything. But you know what I mean. He is like Eeyore, but um, not depressed like him. You know? So... Alrighty, so I'm gonna start getting ready for bed now, and, um, and yeah, I found that Shane Dawson and his, uh, husband, Ryland, or Roland, or I can't, I can't remember how you pronounce his name, they brought home the twins, um, what was it, Max and, uh, Max and, um, God, I forgot the other one. Oh, God, I can't remember the names of them. Not Zed. That doesn't sound right. But, yeah, they brought the twins home, and they were born on December 7th. They're YouTubers. They're on YouTube, very famous people. So, yeah, um... They were born on December 7th, those twins. Max and, uh, God, now I gotta look it up. I have it on my Facebook. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. But, yeah, um, I set in my, um, scheduled app. And, again, if you don't see any future video clips, it's good night now. But I'm gonna try to find that app here. That, uh, post. <coughs> I love seeing Eeyore that happy, my boy, my donkey friend on the right. <coughs> but yeah, Jet, yes, Jet and Max, they were born on the 7th. 
So these are the guys right here. Shane Dawson and Ryland. Okay, Ryland. Adams. They are born on 12-7. Jet Parker. <gasps> God, I'm yawning. Jet Parker Adams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Y-A-W. That's a Sheen's last name. And Max Chandler Adams. Yeah. Aren't they adorable? Look at them. Oh, oh sweet little babies. Oh, ho, ho. 11-11. Awesome. All right. So, I'm going to go to bed now. Tomorrow, for sure, I'm definitely going to do the final exam. Just do it real quick. Get it over and done with. And 11.30 a.m., I have my therapy session online. Um, yeah. God, I'm so thirsty tonight. What the hell? Maybe I had too much salt in my soup with those crackers. I forgot to look to see if they were unsalted. Darn it. See, that's why I've been drinking a lot of water, but man. I shouldn't have too much salt anyway. I remember that, too, when they were trying to wake me up after my knee surgery. And the night before, I had accidentally poured too much corn on the cob. Salt on my corn on the cob, excuse me. The night before, and they were having trouble waking me up, and they say, you can't have too much sodium intake. So. <laughs> oh, well. At least I'm drinking the water, though. I hope I won't regret it later finding a toilet in my dream and no luck with that and me having to force myself to say to myself wake up and take a piss why don't you jeez i hate those dreams they're so fucking annoying you guys i'm not joking and i'm not kidding you they're so annoying i could scream oh this toilet is okay nope how about this one nope <laughs> not enough tp in here Close it. Next one. Oh, the door doesn't lock. Shit. Oh, this person forgot to flush. And that's when I say, wake the fuck up and go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, what am I forgetting to tell you here? Um, okay. So. Yeah. Dad was okay about um, him not talking about medical stuff anymore in the car, and he was okay about my back. I'm almost forgetting to tell you that. I was like amazed. I thought he would be having a cow about that and everything. And yeah, I'm thinking about working this summer, but I need to figure out how to get my health under control and everything and not be so fucking tired during the day like what the fuck am i doing it's like i'm not doing anything and then at around like two o'clock in the afternoon i'm yawning and i want to take a nap for two hours almost two hours like seriously <laughs> and the doctor already ran tests on my thyroid on my blood and she says everything is healthy there and I don't think my back is getting inflamed again, or is it? Because I Googled that like a month ago. Like I asked Google, do I get tired from inflammation in my spine? And I said yes. But, you know, waking up in the middle of the night just to pee and then not falling back to sleep that would be annoying too that could be the cause sometimes i have trouble falling back to sleep you know and i just kind of force myself to stay asleep you guys and be rested but when i have to have those fucking weird dreams when i 
fucking need a piss or shit. And I'm like trying to find a fucking clean toilet. It's like, my God, it's like everybody uses the toilet. And they don't want to fucking clean it or, you know, restock on toilet paper. Or fix the busted half seat. It's like, this. there's like a toilet seat here. And a small dinky one there. And no divider there. To, I'm like, what the heck? People have to watch me piss? I don't think so. I have the crazy dreams, you guys. Like, what the fuck? And I'm like, just wake up and take a piss or shit. Why don't you? Oh my god. Like, people. I don't know if. If you're dreaming before me and get in my dream before me and in that locker room or wherever I find these toilets and make that mess, but can you just say on a maintenance thing this bath room is dirty or whatever on this third row of this third toilet or something? You know what I mean? If you do... If you are that person, hey, I got mad I busted up the seat. Hey, I got mad I, uh, plunked up the toilet with TP. <laughs> or something like that in my dreams. Like, like, what if, what if whoever is watching this, I don't know, like, parallel universes, like, you know, it's like you go in somebody's dream, or in another world, and I'm, like, trying to find a toilet. I have to pee really, really bad. And you guys just fuck around with the toilet. Like, stop doing that. If it's true, just stop doing that, you guys. Let a person pee. But then if I pee in my dream, am I peeing in reality? Like if, like, like that um, theory, if you die in your dream, you're dying in reality too? Like, what the fuck are you, you know what I mean? Just, if you're going to make a mess in the dream, let people know. So they can prevent me from pissing in my pants in my dream. Like, what the fuck, you guys? Talking about pee, I better go pee. <laughs> and I guess minutes later I'll have to pee again. And <laughs> oh, God. I like that, um, South Park episode. You gotta go pay, pay. You have to pay while I'm here. That French guy. After pee, pee. <laughs> okay, South Park is to pee. The most popular really video on my channel. <laughs> it's to pee. <laughs> um, yeah, that French guy is to pee. You don't have to drink all the pee. <coughs> Ah. Come on, you have to drink all of the pee. You can do it, huh? Ah. Stone! All right, they finally came for us. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, and really, is it really dangerous to drink somebody else's pee? Shouldn't it be your own pee if you're... Like, stranded out in the desert, and you're just stranded there, and you drink all your water in your gallon, and and you can drink your own pee, I was told, but how is it safe to drink somebody else's pee? I think I should Google that. That's a really good question, you know what I mean? I'm, like, thinking when he was, like, drinking that, I'm like, is it safe? I'm, I'm kind of agreeing with him there. Is it safe to drink somebody else's pee? So, yeah. I'm going to shut up about this pee. But, yeah, guys, if you ever make a mess in somebody else's dream, tell the person in charge so the next person who has that issue with finding a toilet and find the correct toilet so they can pee. <laughs> okay, shut up now.
in such a loony tune. <laughs> but yeah, with that added question, with drinking somebody else's pee, it's like, okay, for example, everybody's body is different. They have so much health problems, and pee is kind of like um, blood too, in a sense, right? That's why doctors say I want a urine test to see what else is going on with you and whatever. So this is why I'm wondering too, is drinking somebody else's pee actually dangerous? And yeah. <laughs> um okie dokie. Um and I'm forgetting to play bingo here, so first I'm gonna Google that to Shut my brain up about the pee thing, and then I'm gonna. <sighs> Go to bed after bingo. Yet yeah, urine is not sterile when it leaves the kidneys. It must be passed through the urethra. Okay, bacteria is present. Drinking somebody else's pee may expose the person to numerous diseases. I was correct. I was correct, you guys. That's what I was thinking of. With, uh, with Kyle. I, I'm on, I'm on 100% Kyle. Team Kyle. I don't think drinking somebody else's pee is safe like that. So, okay. B7. B4. I25. O66. B13 I28 Round over Yeah, I'm forgetting to tell you something too. People were reminding me to talk about this. In case you were asking the same question, wondering the same thing, yes, I had a sleep study done in 2020, October, and everything turns out to be normal. No sleep apnea, nothing wrong with me, so. But yeah, speaking of sleep, I'm going to go to sleep now, so okay. The detectives started searching for clues in Shannon Graves' disappearance, and they make a surprising discovery. We discovered that in April of 2017, the Youngstown Police Department towed Shannon's car, and we had actually had it in our impound lot. Shannon's car was being driven by her boyfriend, Arturo Novoa, and that Arturo Novoa committed a traffic violation. There was a police officer present Tried to pull Artur Novoa over. Artur Novoa flees. He ditches Shannon's car, gets out of the car and runs. And he's...
Slice Nation 4 commented on a Reddit thread about Lily's death. They said, What's scary is I was playing Pokemon Go in the park that day, walking along that very same trail. My stomach churns when I think that I saw that girl in a pink-purple hoodie on her bike with another kid on my way out. I have a suspicion that it could be another kid that did it. Another Reddit user took a screenshot of the comment and sent it to the police. A detective called this user back shortly later to thank them for the tip. The authorities had received over 200 tips regarding Lily's death and have stated that those tips were instrumental in arresting Lily's killer. The 14-year-old was arrested.